If you like selling put options like we do, there are going to be times like today when the market goes way down and some of those put options that you sold go deep in the money. The first technique I use to begin repairing a deep in the money short put option is the most basic, but it's very powerful. On April 21st, with BlackRock finding itself at an area that had previously served as support for around 675, that coupled with what we saw in the weekly chart, that BlackRock had found support at the red 200 moving average two months earlier, and the fact that it was approaching that same moving average again. Because of that, we felt comfortable selling the third Friday of May, $670 cash secured put option in it. To stay under our maximum position size, we simultaneously bought the third Friday of May, $500 put option. For this trade, we received a net of $11.50 per share. At that point, everything was great. However, BlackRock was going to ruin our party. Here you see the chart up to today. BlackRock actually had a really strong up day yesterday, but today was another big down day. And over in the weekly chart, you see that it has now broke through the red to a moving average that had served as support for it. Now, I still really like this company. Looking back over its history, we see that when it has a big decline, like it's doing right now, it tends to break through this red to a moving average. Ultimately though, it tends to rebound pretty quick. So we'll just have to see if it does it this time as well. However, I wanted to improve our position and still pocket some cash while giving BlackRock a little time to rebound. So here's the trade we did. In the purple box, you see that we bought to close the May 20th $670 cash secured put option for $58.27 per share. We also sold our protective put option that we had bought for $1.65 per share. Simultaneously, we rolled the 670 strike price down by $10 to the June 17th 660 strike put option. We also again bought ourselves a little protection with the 350 put option. When it was all said and done, we were able to roll our strike price down by $10 and still pocket $3.22 per share. So that's a simple and easy technique that you can use by rolling your strike price down and still pocketing some money. Here's another strategy that we like to use. Now at first you might say, Randy, I don't see any strategy here. You're just rolling the FedEx May 20th 250 put option out to August. And if that was the complete story, I'd totally agree with you. But let me give you the background of this position because it's one that we've been in for quite a while. At the orange arrow, that's the August 250 put option that we sold. Just above that at the blue arrow, notice that we are also selling call options against this position. Over in the yellow box on the far right, you see that we were paid $2.22 per share for this call option. My thinking here is that FedEx is trading at $207. Since our cash secure put option is so deep in the money, as you can see here, the Delta's put option is 0.836. That means that for every dollar that FedEx goes up, this option we have sold will lose 83 cents per share. So it almost acts like a covered call because it's so far in the money. Here you see the daily chart of FedEx on the day that we sold this 220 naked call option located at the white arrow. As you can see, that 220 call option strike price is pretty far out of the money. I did that because I wanted to give FedEx the opportunity to go up in price and this call option that we sold still expire worthless or at least provide us the opportunity to roll it up and out in time. If I had sold it closer to at the money, we could have received more for this call option, possibly as much as $5, which would have enabled us to roll the put option strike price down. I considered that, but for now, I just wanted to roll the put option out to see if FedEx finds support while collecting extra premium by selling this call option. With this technique, you can consider selling a naked call option or a bearish call credit spread against the deep money put option that you're working with. That will enable you to collect that extra premium from the call option and if something wild were to happen, for example, if FedEx were to shoot way past our 250 put option, then this June 17th 280 protective call option would cap our potential loss. Another technique we like to use is to switch a deep in the money cash secure put option over to a poor man's covered call. That's exactly what we did here with Facebook, otherwise known as Meta Platforms. Now this strategy does require additional capital because you'll be buying your cash secured put option back for a loss. And then you need some money to buy a leaps call option. However, I like to use this strategy if I'm feeling comfortable being in a long position in a stock, but I'm not sure if the overall decline is over yet. Here with Facebook, you see in the blue box up top, we've been selling cash secure put options in it. When it had a big drop in February, we bought the February deep in the money 310 cash secure put option back to close it out. That cost us $92.70 per share. And as you can see in the purple box, we bought the January of 2024 $200 leaps call option. You see, unlike that put, whose delta was close to one. If Facebook continues to decline, as you can see here in the yellow box under delta, this leaps call option will only go down in value by 67 cents for each dollar that Facebook declines. If Facebook starts to go up, this call option will go up in value by 67 cents for the next dollar that Facebook goes up. However, if Facebook continues going up, this call option gets deeper and deeper in the money, the delta will improve for us because it will begin to approach one. 
When I'm uncertain if the downward move in a stock is finished, I like to switch those low or non-paying dividend stocks over to Leap's call options and then sell an out of call option against it, thus turning it into a poor man's covered call. As you can see here, in addition to turning this into a poor man's covered call by selling the June 17th 225 call option, we've also been doing an additional farther out of the money bearish call credit spread. Hey, see that we sold the June 17th 250 call option and bought the 325 call option for protection. For that, we're able to pocket an additional $1.93 per share. Now we just continue letting this cash flow machine throw off cash every month by rolling the poor man's covered call short call option out. And as long as it doesn't have earnings, we're going to continue selling a bearish call out of money credit spread against it. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. Now I'll show you my favorite technique that I use when a put option goes deep in the money on us. Our main ops trading account has right at a million dollars set aside for it. My personal rule is I want to have at most 5% at risk in any one position. That means that we can have at most $50,000 at risk if all the put options were assigned to us and we had to buy all the stock outright. Because of that, many times I will take an initial position of around 2 to 3%. That leaves me an additional 2 to 3% to play with if the position goes against us. Here you see an example of a position that we use this technique on. The position is in the pharmaceutical company Amgen, ticker symbol AMGN. At the left of that white line, that's when we first sold a cash secured put option in Amgen. We sold the 240 put option. As you can see, at the worst of it, this option was over $40 in the money. However, because we only had sold one put option, we were able to really work this position. Once it looked like Amgen was reaching a bottom, we were able to sell an additional put option, as you can see in the blue rectangle, at the strike price anywhere from 210 all the way up to 230 per share. Eventually, on April 14th, less than a month ago, the stock was called away from us. At that time, we no longer felt that Amgen was in a position that gave us an advantage to make an option trade in it. You see, it had gone way up in price and wasn't close to any good support. So the technique that we used here was that we initially sold one cash secure put option and that was about 2.5% of our overall portfolio. When Amgen crashed and that put option went deep in the money, we used the techniques that I mentioned earlier of rolling that put option out, but we also sold naked call options against this position. Once Amgen looked like it was finding nice support, we began to sell an additional cash secure put option in it. As a result, even though this position went really against us in a big way, we were able to walk away with a profit of over $33 per share, as you can see at the bottom right corner. In this video, I shared positions that have gone against us in a big way and some of the ways that we go about fixing them. However, many of our trades go exactly or similar to how we had planned. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do a trade, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. Earlier, I mentioned a technique using leaps, call options, and poor man's covered calls. This is a tool that you must have in your tool bag as an option trader. If you'd like to see how we use poor man's covered calls to generate awesome cash flow in return, check out the video series at the link above and description below entitled Poor Man's Covered Calls and Leaps Options Trading. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.